won't you pull me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. <laughs> Yo, sweaty friends. You know those people that are just like super confident when they walk into a room, like they command it, everybody drops what they're doing, they look at them. Yeah, growing up I was definitely not one of those people. And sadly, it wasn't until like mucho later in my life that I realized that this is something that we can actually control. Then when I realized it, I decided to do deep dive research, look up all of the hashtag online courses that I could find. Most people when you talk to them and ask them what it is that they wish they would have more of. Honestly, most of my students, they say confidence. Confidence to speak up during meetings. Confidence to take that new course. Confidence to go and try out a new activity. Whatever it is, those are things that they feel like they need to do and they're so drawn to, but they feel like they can't. Like they are stuck in this quicksand and the confidence is just out of reach. Just up there, you know? Two things struck me as major whoa moments. When I looked through platforms like Udemy or Google search, there was a lot of problems with the courses that I would come up with. Number one, most of the courses were by men for men. Which, if you've ever read the confidence code, you totally should. The more confident everybody is, the more authentic, the more they're in their power, the better the world is. But we tend to be very kind as women on confidence. Unfortunately, we then pass that on to the next generation, to the next generation, to the next generation, and we end up with these very low confidence girls. <sighs> And it just, that breaks my heart. There is so much research out there that we are 50% less likely to apply for a job if we don't feel we're qualified as opposed to men who are likely to just be like, ah, hashtag YOLO, I'm gonna just do it. And if I don't get it, I don't get it. And we tend to judge ourselves based off of our looks, our image, all those things. And it was a big eye opener that there was so many male courses and not a whole lot of female courses. Number two, when I started gaining my confidence and I started really deep diving into what confidence meant to me, think that really stuck out and that really helped me move along in my journey was movement. There was no courses merging confidence with movement. Put your hands together. So I'm here to rectify that. Who am I? Let's get into that. I am a visual fitness inspire er and storyteller plus self proclaimed badass movement ninja. Yo. And I've designed this 10 day program to guide you from point A to confident. This is gonna be 10 yoga classes, 10 journaling prompts, 10 little mini warm ups, six pump up videos, 10, not to overstate it, but life changing days where you're actually gonna start where you're at, use movement, use journaling, use that connection to your inner self and get yourself on the mat every single day. Get yourself practicing principles that'll help you become more confident in 10 days. I remember when I discovered yoga and I discovered actually connecting to myself and understanding understanding what it was that was going on, mind blowing. So I don't want to say this course is life changing, but I just feel that after a short period of time of movement and just getting grounded, getting connected to yourself, creating some of those power stances, my students walk away with so much more confidence. And then if you can layer that with some journaling, whew, it's a whole new world. Don't worry, I'm not singing during this course. Ideally, you would go through the course one day at a time for a full 10 days. Obviously, if things come up, well, I got you. Just continue on where you left off. But in the ideal scenario, we would set aside every single morning, days one to 10, and you would go through them so that you can see the shift that you can make, how much power you have. Just by moving your body, just by getting in tune with your body, just by understanding and becoming aware of certain things, how you can make the shift. The more confident you. Because you know, girl, most of us need it. Mm -hmm. If there's a class that you're looking at and you're like, mm, the peak pose is an mm, mm, my jam. That's probably one that you need. There is 10 before journaling prompts and 10 after journaling prompts to help you really realize how much progress you're making and then to prompt you actually taking a leap when you need to take the leap and having that self-confidence and understanding how you have the power to make them better. To create that amazing shift and you know what the leap might just be? Buying a pair of high heels. Understanding how much power we have over our bodies and what we can do and our lives. Creating some minor tweaks that you can implement day to day. Like your posture, like your stance, like your verb like your actions that you're taking and making those minor shifts and tweaks during your practice and during your day-to-day -day life 
can have such a huge impact on you. I'm here to tell you that our practicing yoga, they get better. It gets easier to take risks and to do things and, and just, oh. So if you've ever found yourself compensating for your actions, beating up your body, trying to explain reasons why you're doing things, being a perfectionist, immediately replying to comments, immediately replying to criticism. If you've ever found that you are that person, that you could benefit from a course like this, that amps up your self-confidence game. So I hope to see you in the course for the next 10 days. Let's turn up the love. No, it is way too late, but that was an awkward game. Okay. my eyes of you. Yo. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow is another day.